Hey guys, DJ Lawton here, and today I just want to go through quickly how I organize my library using uh, Ableton 11's like color collections. I think it's Ableton 11 this came out in. Uh, it might be 10 as well, but uh, regardless, I just want to show you quite quickly how I organize it and why I do it this way. So for me, red, first of all, is my effects and utilities. These are like um, a bunch of processing chains and LFO tools that I've picked up and made over the years. You know, I've got one here for like New York compression, so I could slap that on and it has all of the parameters ready to go for New York compression. I've got like a pitch shifter here, which essentially is just a VST, but instead of going into the VST, I can just go here and I can just shift the 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 sample up or down an octave and then yeah i've got other stuff here like i've got a add noise thing which essentially is just a vocoder but as you bring this up it brings up two knobs at once it also has a filter here to control the high end and yeah it's just really handy to have all these little tools here it's like building your own toolkit and making your own tools and then this is where i put them all all my effects and utilities are basically my tools Next up in the orange, I have instruments, and these are basically all kinds of uh, sounds that I've synthesized or presets that I found and tweaked a little bit and then put into a library. Um, for example, I've got one here called uh, Dusty Rave Plucks, and it has some parameters here. If I open it up, you can see it's uh, got Diva, then it's got some processing, some reverb, um, some transient shaping, stuff like that. And it's all neatly packed into a little rack, and I can just... Uh, quickly mess with it and play with it on the push and stuff like that uh, everything here is organized by like putting these putting the sound type first so i've got plucks i've got percussions i've got pads leads keys effects drums bass atmospheres and at the bottom i've got all of the uh, synths that i've got you know the juno 106 uh, contact massive uh, pigments, serum, diva. I mainly just use serum and diva to be fair, but yeah. Then in yellow, I've got absolutely nothing in yellow, just haven't found any use for it yet. If you guys know what I should put in yellow after the end of this video, let me know in the comments section. So yeah, in green, I've got all my racks and I've got my 128s. And 128s, if you don't know what they are, is essentially 128 samples of a certain type put into a rack. If I quickly demonstrate this, if I turn this knob, it changes the clap sample very quickly. And if you want to figure out, uh, if you want to learn how to make 128s, I've made a video on my channel. I'll link it up here now. You can go check it out. Just It's just basically 128s and drum racks and stuff like that. Uh, just collections of samples and stuff. Uh, next up in the blue, I've got colorization. This is just things like distortion, saturations, erosions, bit crushers, anything that's going to enhance or manipulate the sound in some way add color essentially it can take away color too can make things more dull uh such as their decimal two is going to bit crush it make it more lo-fi um i would consider that colorization there's also things like choruses in here and stuff like that things that make it you know add in uh imaging and and wideness and stuff like that but mainly distortions and saturations and you know tape and stuff like that uh very handy if i just want to come in here and i'm like oh what do i fancy to sort of like color up my sound and stuff like that the way I think about this is sort of like, you know, it's like a recipe for cooking almost. Uh, and then in the purple, I have my dynamics and EQs. And these are things like compressors, EQs. I've got limiters, clippers, and other little tools like that. Uh, images, smexoscopes, uh, you know, just anything there that's useful, like more like mixing and engineering. And then in the gray tab, I have all my reverbs and delays. Uh, I don't have a lot in here because, quite frankly, I use Bahala pretty much all the time. And then I use H delay for my delay. I also use echo and I also use the J37 sometimes for my spring delays, but uh, I've not got it on this list for whatever reason. I have it on my colorization, but um, I should add it here really. Um, but yeah, so that is my collection. That's how I've organized it. Let me know in the comment section how you guys have organized yours. Let me know if this is uh, helpful to you. And this is like, you know, I, I'm I'm big on organizing your library and making it really slick and easy to recall things and pull things out without having to look too hard for it. I know some people will just come in here and be like, oh yeah, Valhalla, and then just like uh, pull it from their entire plugin list. But after like, you know, nine, 10 years of producing music, you end up having uh, hundreds of plugins. Some of them, most of them you don't even use anymore. It's like the Plato principle, right? Like 20% of my plugins give me 80% of the results. So I just stick with those same 20% uh, 
Uh, there's a lot of plugins I just don't use or have never really used. Uh, it's just how it goes sometimes. And yeah, just organize them into that. And it's really easy just to go grab something. You don't have to like type too much. You can just go grab it. I know we're instinctively with my EQ8, uh, sorry, my Fab Filter Pro Q3 is just right there. And my DBX and uh, my API 2500 and stuff like that. Super easy to grab. And yeah, uh, that's how I organize my library. Uh, let me know in the comment section what you think how you organize yours. That's just a quick video for today. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Cheers.